Hey, this is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining us. We're going to talk about passive income again. I've done several videos on this. But I'm going to call this one passive income too because passive income is a real in-depth, long, drawn-out discussion. It's not as simple as, well, I think I'm going to do passive income today. You can. You can do passive income today. There's many ways to get passive income right now. Unfortunately, if you want to get passive income in any quantity and bring in any considerable amount of money, like thousands of dollars a month, then you're going to have to have some money to do it. You can't just create it out of thin air. You can buy passive income today. And you can buy it within minutes. You can buy stocks, for example, that are publicly traded companies. You can buy them just before the dividends are paid out. Okay, so every stock that's listed, let's say on the New York Stock Exchange or NASDAQ, you can buy those stocks just before they issue their dividend. Because every, every three months, every quarter, a stock gives out a dividend. First they state the dividend, actually first they show the profit, then they state the dividend, X dividend date, and then they actually deliver it. So they give it to you. It goes right into your bank account, excuse me, your brokerage account, or if you have your stocks in a bank, because most banks have brokerage accounts, or you can take the dividend and just convert it right immediately into more of the same stock. Apple Computer's example. So they're going to pay out a dividend. I own a lot of shares in Apple. It's not a big dividend. It's a small one. Why? Because it's a growth company. So usually growth companies don't pay big dividends. A dividend, what is a dividend? A dividend is a percentage of their profit. Some companies give out no dividends. Like Amazon doesn't issue a dividend. And Berkshire Hathaway, owned by Warren Buffett, doesn't issue a dividend. Why don't they issue dividends? Because they, they, they believe that the money that they retain in their company, and if you own stock in the company, you're a stockholder too, the money they retain can be better used growing the business and growing the stock value. So I was in Amazon at $1,700. It's now like $3,400. They don't give a dividend but they sure do grow the business. <clears throat> so what are you going to do with the ownership in Amazon? Well, eventually you may want to sell it or you may just want to hold it. They'll, maybe they'll split. Maybe it'll go to 5000 a share. It's now at 3000 and change. Same thing for Berkshire Hathaway. So you could buy dividend producing. How do you find it? Well, just open a brokerage account at TD Ameritrade. or I have several brokerage accounts. You can open open one at Interactive Brokers. They're the best for leverage. If you want to get some leverage, they'll loan you money at, I don't know, 3% or something like that. I don't suggest you do that in a big way, but you might want to give it a try. And then you can hunt around inside those those uh, brokerage firms, and they'll, they'll tell you every dividend-paying stock that's available on the planet, and what's the highest percentage, and what's the risk. you got to do some research. Usually banks are dividend-paying stocks if you want passive income or energy companies like San Diego Gas and Electric. I live in San Diego. Those are those are dividend paying companies, for example. And that's true passive income. Why is it true passive income? Because you don't do anything. You know, everyone else is working for you. McDonald's is a passive income. You own McDonald's stock. Every three months they'll issue you a dividend. 2%, 3% on your money or whatever. But you have to own a lot of stock in order to make any serious income. That's the problem with liquid. Liquid meaning companies that you can buy and sell in a second. That's a liquid market. Illiquid market means you own real estate and you, you rent out the properties and that's income. That income comes in. Now, if you manage the properties, that's not passive income. Even if you have a manager managing the properties, you've got to watch the manager. And sometimes the manager will be really good, and sometimes he's a knucklehead, and sometimes people have to be evicted. I mean, there's all kinds of things happening in real estate. Or you can own McDonald's. So McDonald's owns every location, and they lease it back to the franchisee. So if there's 30,000 McDonald's out there in the world, I don't know how many there are, McDonald's owns all those buildings, and they lease them to the franchisees. The franchisee sells hamburgers, and then they pay a big fat rent or lease uh, to the guy that owns the franchise or the lady that owns the franchise. 
So if you own McDonald's, you're a huge real estate owner, or you can own a real estate investment trust, don't have to do anything. The trust pays out almost all their income every quarter or every month. There's all kinds of income producing, passive income producing entities out there. You can, you can buy oil and gas wells, and they pay out almost 100% of their income in the form of a royalty or a dividend. That's passive income. That's true passive income. We're going to talk more about passive income and other passive incomes that are out there, but royalty is probably one of my favorites. If you're going to have big royalty, then you really need to create a royalty stream for yourself. So I create, let's say, oh, I don't know, I create a book. Or I write books and then I just publish them I don't do anything else and then I can write additional books and do second and third editions and so that is post them and then I can have people market them and income comes in that's that's true passive income I don't write the book a second or third time unless I'm writing second and third editions but it takes a certain amount of effort to have that kind of income it's not like buying stock in uh, J.P. Morgan Chase, which is going to pay a 5 or 6% return on your money. You, know, you put up $1,000, and you're going to get a certain percentage on that $1,000, so the income is relatively small. So unless you're owning hundreds of thousands of dollars in stock, you're not going to get a whole lot of passive income coming in through dividends. But there are many other ways that you can get passive income today, assuming that you have money. If you don't have money and you're looking for passive income, then you have to build that from scratch. I know, I wish there was a better way of doing it, an easier way of doing it. It's actually relatively simple, but you have to have patience as you, burn, as you build up your passive income streams. Now we're gonna talk about passive income streams in detail. I have several, and I've mentioned this before, and other passive income and the truth about passive income and active income. So I have both. I have royalty from books, royalties from small businesses that pay me royalty fees for information and, and things that I've created and those companies pay me. Or trucking businesses. I don't actually run them. Other people run them and I get paid. But I have to watch them. So it's not true passive income. True passive income is when the government sends me a social security check every month. They don't send me a check, they just deposit it into the account. That's true passive income, I don't do anything. I don't do anything for the royalties and I don't do anything for the dividend income either. That's true, 100%, no fooling around, passive income. Income from the books, that's passive income. So the real question is how the heck are you gonna do it? So that's what I'm here to talk to you about. We're gonna give you more details about passive income. This is passive income too. We want to come up with passive income three, four, five, and give you actual specific where you can put your money, assuming that you have any. If you don't, you're going to have to build a business, and that's going to be active income. Active income means you have to be actively involved, but as the business grows and gets bigger, you can hand it off to somebody else, and they can run it for you. But it happens over time. It's not something that you can do immediately. Anything worth having takes time. This is Mike Addis. Thanks for joining us on this Passive Income 2. We're going to come out with more passive incomes and get very specific on where and how and uh, what types of passive income you can invest in and specifically who are these or where are these passive incomes coming from. Mike Addis, Carlsbad, California. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.